everyday source for information. This is CKDM News. Good afternoon. It's sunny and minus 8 degrees at 5 o'clock in Dauphin. I'm Pete Rathwell with CKDM News, brought to you by the real estate professionals at REMAX. RCMP have located a missing 14-year-old girl from Portage La Prairie. The girl has been missing since Tuesday and was last seen in Brandon. She was located today without incident. The RCMP would like to thank the general public and all media partners for their assistance in locating the missing youth. In other news, the Gilbert Plains Rec Complex has announced they will stay open until April 29th. The Rec Commission made the announcement in today's issue of the Expondent. Public skating and family fun curling will continue every Monday and Friday night from 7 to 9. There will be public skating over spring break with a more detailed schedule to follow. If you'd like to book the ice, the extended season rental fee is $80 an hour. And Manitoba's Agriculture Minister has sent a shot across the bow of U.S. regulars at a conference in Minnesota. Yesterday at a meeting with American ag officials and industry industry reps, Ron Costitian said, if the plan goes forward to enact country of origin food labeling, it will hurt the Manitoba livestock industry. Costitian agreed with his federal counterpart, who has been fighting for the states to give it up. Origin of labeling is when countries require imported foods to be labeled as to where they came from. The World Trade Organization has already ruled in favor of Canada on the issue, but the U.S. has not honored the ruling. And in other Manitoba news, Manitoba's new adult abuse registry is now in place. The registry will help protect vulnerable adults and patients living in health care settings. The province says the registry, the first of its kind in Canada, will help prevent individuals who abuse or neglect vulnerable people from working with them again. Offenders convicted of a crime against vulnerable persons are automatically placed on the registry. When there is no conviction, the name of the person can also be referred to the committee to see if they should be included. And in Winnipeg, a city council committee today voted in favor of a plan to spend $3 million to upgrade recreation facilities for the 2017 Canada Summer Games. City council still needs to improve the expenditure. The event is expected to bring together about 4,500 of the country's best amateur athletes and attract 20,000 out-of-province visitors. Mayor Sam Cates says when Halifax hosted the Games, the city enjoyed $130 million in economic spin-off. And finally, Latin Americans are reacting with joy to news of the first pope from the hemisphere. Near the cathedral in Argentina's capital, Martha Ruiz burst into tears of emotion at the news of her cardinal, Mario Bergoglio, has been named pope. She says the news is incredible. Bergoglio has taken the name Francis I at the St. Francis Asai Church in Colonial Old San Juan District in Puerto Rico. One church secretary exchanged jubilant high fives with the priest. And that's CKDM News to 504. Coming up, Dave Anthony has your 730 CKDM weather forecast. 730 CKDM News is brought to you by Sawyer's Insurance of Dauphin.